Hey everybody, I'm back here with another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve color page and I want to talk about luminance contrast versus RGB contrast. And also I will be back soon again with my ordinary content in my living room YouTube studio, so stick around. So a couple of weeks ago I started to dive deep into contrast and the difference between luminance contrast and RGB contrast. You know, in our color page here, in this value, contrast and pivot, we are changing both the luminance and the RGB channels at once when you slide this value back and forth and also using pivot. So there's nothing weird about this. It's supposed to work like this, but I have a example here from my upcoming short film with the working title, The Pathfinder. So if you want to see this short film, how I did this in a do-it-yourself manner, please subscribe and find your way back here when I will upload this short film to my, to my channel. So anyway, in this example, I have prepared a little bit here. I have put my CST node. This is filmed with a Sony camera, so I'm just making a, a quick color space transform from log S log 3. And then a little, a little adjust so that we're getting a nice color into the CST node here. And then I, I made a node with only luminance contrast. So I unganged all of these channels and only chose this Y channel, which is the luminance channel. So here I just drew a simple S curve, which we're all familiar with. It's a contrast curve, S curve. And then in the other node, I made the exact same thing. You can see that all my channels are ganged up. So we're basically doing a contrast pivot adjustment, but we're doing it in curves instead. So just have a look at when we switch back and forth between these two nodes here. So here is the Luma contrast and here is the RGB contrast. And now just have a look at how different these two images look. Here in the RGB contrast, you can see that we are adding so much more contrast in the highlights. And also the shadows are getting quite a lot of desaturation. And we go back to the Luma contrast, you can see that it's, it's, it's back and forth. Now we're desaturating the highlights and we're getting a lot of, it's almost like we're doing a subtractive saturation here. And I thought that was a cool, you know, insight to how these two different method works. So, so it's like if you push up here on the curve in the luminance channel, you are desaturating. So whenever you go this way, you're desaturating. And when you go down, you are saturating. And here in the RGB curve, whenever you add contrast by going this way, you will also add saturation. And if you go down on the RGB curve like this, if you go down, you're actually also desaturating. We can do another test here if we just hide this one, and make another node, and then we will take all the channels and just bury it like this. You can see how much um, it got desaturated. And then just let's do that all again and just pull down the luminance. Can you see how much more color we're saving here? We're not desaturating the image at all. We're, we're keeping all the color information by just using the Luma curve here. If you're using a Luma contrast curve, like an S curve like this, you will desaturate your highlights, keeping everything very cinematic compared to the, our, the ordinary RGB curve that will do the quite opposite. It will desaturate your shadows and add color to the highlights. So this is much more harsher. If you can see the reds here, it becomes really disgusting. To fix this, you would have to go and desaturate the highlights in another node and then, you know, and then try to add some saturation again. And that's just lots of unnecessary work. So by using Luma, it will be much more out of the box in a sense. You can get those cinematic roll off highlights and, and deep and colorful shadows, which is pretty cool. And I found out that you can make a node if you want to use this here, this contrast and pivot controls, you can actually switch your node to a luminosity composite mode. Luminosity. So now we can actually use our contrast and pivot to 
to only add contrast into the luminance channel and ignoring the RGB channels, just like we did here on, on the curves. But we can now use these two tools here to just dial in our luminance curve. Well, I thought that was pretty cool insight and I hope you also got some kind of useful information out of this. And uh, that's all I have for now and I will see you in the next one. Bye.